by Jeep. Welcome inside. Robert Flores, Mark DeRosa, Lauren Shahani, and a cast of thousands. I was told that this, today's show, is the show to end all shows. Is this the biggest show what we've ever mean? done? Well, let's just run down. Let, let's, just, let's just run down. Who's coming in? We, uh, it's going to be like a dad, stepdad scenario here for a little bit, but don't worry. Uh, <laughs> and then Jed Lowry yes. is here in about uh, 14 minutes or so. Can't wait. Huge Dodger fan. Yeah. Yes. I think he might be wearing. He grew up with Brian Kenny. But I don't Kenny. care about We're baseball. Get I want to know about him that. hitting the streets in the. Of that's you what do. I want to know. What did you do last night, by the way? Guys, I gotta be. Tell us. I, I uh -oh. don't. I, I, this this one pain. This one pained me. <laughs> I, I went. I didn't. Baseball. I didn't watch a stitch of baseball last night until I got home. Bon Jovi sure. at Madison Square Garden while I checked my MLB app. The app, right? Yeah. I, I, that's never coming out of my mouth, but you. Ooh, go. So Jackie Dude, Bradley Jr. Yeah. is the real JBJ now. Is that true? See, I mean, he might. He might be. <laughs> He's taking over. I thought I was seeing like a Broadway adaptation. Really? Well, John Bon Jovi's never doing this show, that's been, for sure. But he's been, do, he's been going at it so hard for he's so long. He's had a heck long. of a run, a heck of a run. No Richie Sambora. Another one opens. Uh, Here's why I love the game. <laughs> First of all, filters I don't like. I don't like Instagram filters. No one actually looks that way. Do you know what I mean? It's all fake. Don't you agree? Don't use yes. filters on your pictures. That is not a, it. That is the hottest J-Lo tells hot you game. to be in a filter. You got to do it. You're in a filter. Right? Giselle tells you to wear that outfit. You don't wear that outfit. No, I'm not wearing it. Very like, good point. You know what? You like J-Lo over Giselle. We're learning so much. Do you want your headlines? I, I was struck by something you said yesterday going into this game. You said this is important for the Red Sox to win tonight, talking yesterday. So how important was it? I mean, you walk into Yankee Stadium, you lose. Bro, 31 career appearances after a blown save. 1-1-9, 23 out of 23 saves. Say that again, because that's important. After a blown After save, a blown he saves, comes back he's, and he's does un, He's unhittable. He's a duck swinging it way, way more aggressive offensively than they've ever been. They've always been a team that's kind of been a little bit passive. I think even Alex Cora admitted that when. game tonight on MLB Network. There. The I Dodgers were there. Game seven. And Hot I can't take. imagine. You would speak to this better than me. Hot but I can't imagine. Okay. I'm ready for him. I can't imagine after game seven, it's easy to just pack your bag and say, all right, boys, let's see you next time. But what is the difference in the lineup? What's the difference with the Dodgers team? I get it. Lauren, no, Justin Turner, I was but tell me. so dead set when we started last year. I looked at the Dodgers. Rock. Chris Taylor. Listen, Chris Taylor burst on the scene last year. It was an unbelievable story. 21 homers, playing a little bit of shortstop. He becomes their mm -hmm. center fielder. So easy sitting here for me to see what the problem is. A lot more difficult to change it, but five for 35 with the bases loaded. Not having productive at bats. The lineup seems like it doesn't have a lot of. Still sticking with the Rockies in the West? Yes. You? Diamondbacks? Diamondbacks. Are you, I, I think, it, I think are the you Diamondbacks. Is it too, was that too much? That, were you too hard on the Dodgers? I'm not, I'm not being too no. hard. I just think you're, wow. you're, you're going to spring training. That, that is not, not what Dave that. Roberts was thinking in his head. Now, he didn't know that. Justin Turner was going to break his wrist and be out, and Corey Seager was going to have Tommy John. But this is the hand they're dealt right now. They have to find a way to play a little different brand of ball. Keith, what did you just tell me? Jansen, 23 batters face this month, two strikeouts. Yeah, that's a problem. Wow. Much more to come on the Dodgers talk. Yeah, Mad Max has been insane so far in 2018. Looks to keep it going tonight. Nats taking on the Diamondbacks in Arizona. Coming off his fifth career game with 15 strikeouts or more. Get that. And he matches up against the Diamondbacks team trying to avoid its second three-game skid this month. Fresh off their big series with the Yankees, the Red Sox head north of the border for a three-game set against the Blue Jays. J.D. Martinez was the hero for the Sox last night and is hitting 444 with four homers during his current 11-game hitting streak. You can watch it tonight on MLB Network. And in the Windy City, the White Sox head to Wrigley for the latest installment of the Crosstown Classic, taking on the Cubs. The Pale Hose lead the all-time series 58-54, to but the Cubs have come away winners five of the last six times they've met. This one gets underway at 2 p.m. right here on the network. You can read it on The Athletic. By the way, The Athletic is awesome. Great pieces, awesome to read. It is. And this is one of them. Adiro, you said you can't have your cake and eat it too with relation to shifts. <laughs> but more action in the game, tell us why. <laughs> right. You know, this is really an interesting concept. So many people suggested to me the idea of the strikeouts. There you go, we solved it. Hey. Want to just quit right here? My, no, we have more. <laughs> what about shrinking no, the strikeouts? No, like, legitimately, I, I could speak to this. I can't tell you how many 
conversations in a golf cart I've had with Brian McCann. It hurts him. It hurts. This oh, cuts God. him. What does he say? It cuts him. He was a 270, yeah. 280 lifetime hitter. He's like, Lero, I either hit it over the fence <laughs> or I'm out. There's 15 guys on the right side. How many line drives does he hit over the infield and then third baseman throws him out from right field? It's painful. What about shrinking the strike zone? Uh, Ball and play more? Well, shrinking the strike zone. Uh, obviously, the more you look, says it should be. And here's the thinking. The bottom of this zone, they can drive the ball. This is the concept. Now, this never went anywhere. What do you think? You're shaking your head. It doesn't bring more action. I, I, I'm going to shock you right here. I'm going to shock you. <laughs> I've watched so many games on a nightly basis. I think the umpires are so tight. I think they're already tight. Like, it was nice to watch Eduardo Rodriguez last night. Listen, when he established the inside half of that plate on that middle cookie. Uh -huh. you okay. So you think there'd just be more walks, right? Not more action. I just see so many calls. They talk about pace of play. So many calls that it's like, strike three. I'm sitting there. Going, Ball. <laughs> I'm like, middle cut. Yeah. Another suggestion is limiting mid-inning pitching changes. Doesn't that take away the matchups and the strategy? That's, small, that's, it would just, that's a small that's steal. A small right. it, it would deal. just change that strategy. Just try to imagine life, though, where the manager couldn't go left, right, left in the middle of the game. time of game. But you ask any left-handed hitter what it's like to have to face these left-handed specials. This couldn't be as effective as they'd want to be. No, and it would change the entire construction of your roster. Right. Well, you're trying to put more action in the game. We, that, that's, the, that's the deal here. We could talk that's about this goal. forever. <laughs> yeah, we could. Uh, Yesterday, I said, you can only have Shohei Otani pitch or hit. <laughs> he was like, he wrote down on his card and he held it up. the easiest one he gave us. Starting pitcher. What did he do that impressed you this week? All right, well, I, I don't know about you. You're going to have video. You might change Shohei Otani. <laughs> Pretty good line, right? Why am I obsessed? Because this is a real human being. He hits baseballs 517 feet. He throws a baseball 100 mi 101 miles an hour. What? Now, do you meet anybody in your travels who does that besides him? No. I think the no. argument against would be, and I think Dan Plesak said it best, to be great at the plate, do you want him to take as much time in BP and outside as it would take Maybe to be some, good maybe away some guys from he's got a maybe thousand. Some guys are just better than He's got a guys. thousand OPS. Maybe he, he doesn't need the extra. Listen, one thing You're I'll say. when I. What? <laughs> no, no, you're back on him. I'm you like not him. a flip flop. I know you're not, but with him you are. You love him, and then it's uh, yeah, it's for TV. <laughs> it's for TV. <laughs> One thing I will say, I remember signing with the Chicago Cubs. Now Wrigley Field's configurations have changed since then. But there was only one cage, and it was under the right field yeah. bleachers. And Derek Lee said to me in spring training, "You're going to find out how much you don't have to swing." to still be a good hitter in the big leagues because you never had access to the cage. <laughs> so mid-game, if you're pinch hitting, stone cold. Here we go. <laughs> Don't know what's going to happen having swung because you can't get to a cage, right? So I'm just saying, like, and you end up having kind of the same numbers. So maybe show hey, does, maybe he doesn't need to swing so he's much. I repeat, human. he's got a 1,000 OPS as a hitter. He's you can't leave without giving us your trivia question. Yeah, it's trivia oh, time. Okay. All right, we've got All right, two shirts.